people who work, this has been demonstrated in multiple studies, people who work are happier because they're contributing, because they're, they're fulfilling their talents, they're using their abilities, um, they're interconnecting with people, they're improving their skills, their work gives you... One lady complained to me bitterly when I told her, you got to get a job. Oh, I can't get a job. I'm socially disabled. I said, well, I don't care. You got to get a job. If you want me to help you, you got to get a job. So she got a job. That, she says, I've had to learn more things because of my job. I've had to learn to take risks. I've had to learn to be told what to do. I've had to learn to take on projects where I didn't know what I was doing. I have had to learn confidence. I've had to learn communication. All from the job. Work makes us happy and strong. And the other thing is that almost none of those people who are on disability then use their abundance of time and energy to ever help another person. I don't think I can count on one hand the number of people I've seen who are physically disabled who, for example, invite other people, blind people over so they can read to them. Um, invite people over to teach them something. Um, offer a literary class for free. Uh, no, they do it just to be, to do nothing. Now, is that lazy? Yeah, but rather than call it lazy, I'd prefer to call it what it is. It's really a sense of hopelessness uh, in the face of a lifetime of nothing ever producing happiness. In other words, I understand why they do it. Nothing they've ever done has made them happy, so they're going, why work? And then there are all those risks that we talked about. So no criticism of the people who do this. It's just a reflection of a lifetime of pain. It's easy to understand but it's a terrible way to live.